ana mapi right now sinjasikia watu wale mnajua watu wale wa fitina eh wa ile kelele mingi sinjasikia mtu sasa akisema tuongee mambo ya chakula ama sufuria tuweke kichu tukaende kwa maandamano unajua lazima tuangalie vile tutasaidiana watu wanapigia wanasikia wanapiga rais akisema huu gharama ya maisha hii kumekuwa namna gani lakini hawaangalii pia katika hii mambo tunaongea yanahitaji pesa sasa tunamulisha haya malori tuweza kuondoka hapa na kuru NCB report tuwakikisha kwamba yamesambaza fataleza hiyo kutaisa au brief kumulana na azizo la rais ya kwamba na sima fataleza iweze kupika kwa wondu zote katika taifa letu ili wakulima waweze kuendelea kujupanga kupanda chakula ya taifa letu dar adar kabisa hai hai atoka hai asanta sana tumefika hapa sababu rais ametuamurisha ya kwamba tuhakikishe ya kwamba mimi na pia za mawizara ya yangu ile mimi naongoza imehakikisha ya kwamba murandi wetu wa fertilizer unaendelea na fertilizer inafika kwa wakulima wakati ufahamu. Na nikiangalia mnaona ya kwamba area hii ya South Rift ndio tunaelekea na North Rift kupata mvua na ndio sababu tumefika ili tuhakikishe na ninjione mimi mwenyewe ya kwamba fertilizer zimefika kwa mango downs yetu yote katika area hii ya Kenya ili mkulima wote popote halipo asiye akasema fertilizer abupata wakati ufahao sababu serikali imeweka njuhundi ya kutosha na tumenunua fertilizer ya kutosha ili wakulima waweze kuipata mmesikia vile PS amesema tumekuwa na mikutano sababu tunashirikiana sana na serikali zetu za county na tumekubaliana ya kwamba the last mile delivery of our fertilizer to the farmers must get to the wards ili the 14 fifth wards in this country mkulima ayatembee distance ile chache ama fupi zaidi aweze kuchukua fertilizer yake na we are committed as national government the national cereals and produce board which has the highest responsibility of ensuring that fertilizer imefika kwa masto na kufikishwa kule kutakuwa na makubaliano kati ya sisi na mangavana wetu yale masto inapelekwa basi NSPP inapeana maofisa ya kuhakikisha dispensation ama, a, ama u, u, upeanaji wa fertilizer hii unaweza kufanyika kwa haraka iwezekanavyo kwa hivyo um, I want to tell the governors in this country from the where the year today the meeting and the resolutions of the meetings that you held with my ministry in Naivasha please do your part make sure umeoga na isiria yako kwa ondi zako tupate ripoti by the 15th vile tulikubaliana ili tuweze kujua fertilizer pale tutaleta pale itafikishwa na ili pia tuweze kunjipanga ili maofisa even if it means recruiting casuals we shall do it because the national government is deliberate is committed to ensuring that fertilizers 
get closer to our farmers. Secondly, allow me, with all humility and respect, really appreciate the good on behalf of the president and the government of Kenya. Appreciate the good work that the farmers of this country have done. Ani waambie tafadhali tukisukuma na namna hii na kusikisa maagizo tutaondoa Kenya kwa shinda ya chakula. Hii aibu tutaiondoa. Na sababu sisi tuna ubiri ya kwamba kilimo ni biashara. We are soon going to be making a lot of money as farmers because I believe with this trend with the support the farmers and the government is doing we will be able to be exporters of food in the next one or two years. Kwa hivyo wakulima pokeni, pongezi na asanti kutoka kwa serikali. Kingine nataka kusema kwa wakulima wa taifa letu. Najua nyinyi ndio mmechukilia uchumi wa uchumi wa Kenya. Na tunawaomba ili kusaidia rais kuhakikisha ya kwamba Uchumi unamaeza kukamuka. The only area we have the greatest potential to create employment, to be able to reduce our bill on imports, to be able to stabilize the Kenya shilling, ni kukwakisha tumeshalisha chakula, tumeshalisha, ama katika space ya ukulima, we are able to double the production of whatever we do. I'm saying because Munajua to Gihacha Kuleta Chakula Kuagisa Chakula Katika Inji Sahinje. Kama Ville Mahindi, Kama Ville Muchele, Kama Ville Ngano. It means we will save a lot of dollars that ordinarily go to pay for this food. Meaning Jale Mandola Tunge Kua Nayo Kupeleka Inje Vasi itakuwa Kenya na hiyo pesa itatumika kulipa wakulima wetu na kwa hivyo ngarama ama demand ya ndola hapa katika nchini itakuwa pesa inatoshikana so we will naturally and normally be able to stabilize our Kenyan shilling mukishalisha chakula ya kutosha we also become exporters of food of coffee increase our exports on coffee and tea it means now we'll be receiving dollars from those countries coming to Kenya, meaning that our foreign currency inflows will increase or will double, meaning we'll be increasing the circulation of foreign currency in our country. And this is, these are the only economical ways and reasonable ways of trying to stabilize the Kenyan shilling and to make our economy grow strong. So my appeal to the farmers of this country, please, as ten, let us partner together. Let us not tire because the growing this country is our collective responsibility as reasonable citizens in this country. Five yo, Nona Villa Sricali Napanya, Fataliza to Meleta, Salishen Chakula, Nani Wambi, Niko na instruction, Kutoka Kwam Ruswang. Yakwamba Mukulima. Ndiyo mutu ambayo mimi Na yeye tunayeshimu zaidi Na mmeesikia sababu Na kaniambia ni wambie His government is committed To standing with the farmer And that is why In our strategy To ensure we continually incentivize farmers To build their morale Fataleza mulile tulileta Tumechalisha ngunia milioni sitini na moja mwaka uliopita. 61 million bucks. We distributed 5.8 million bucks. And we've been able to get 60 million bucks and above. And we also have managed this because when we came up with a program to register farmers, the national provincial and uh, national government administration, na shukuru nyinyi pia, Sababu, you supported us. We have a list, we have a database of our farmers. We can now share targets on how much maize, potato, whatever it is that each one of our farmers can be able to produce.
to achieve our targets because numbers don't lie. So kwa ngao tafadhali pokeni shukrani zangu kama waziri wa kilimo kwa ile kazi mlituzaindia sasa sisi ni kupanga mambo ya kilimo katika Kenya. Kwa kulima wenzangu wale tuliona hapo. Sasa tulipoleta fertilizer the every who the food and agriculture organization uh, uh, figures on post harvest losses stands at 40%. Kasema kama barasa la mawaziri kiongozi na rais so that we do not discourage farmers and so that they have value of what they do we must go an extra mile to support them manage post harvest losses and that is why again other than the flag of fertilizer for the south rift and to ensure fertilizer and gets to the farmers i am here again today to flag off the maize dryers meant to dry our cereals so that wakulima wale wameharvest mahindi tunajua losses ya mahindi na leto na mambo ya platopsin ukiweka vibaya na kama injakauka vizuri serikali imenunua dryers mia moja sa kupeleka kila pali kwa wakulima wetu ili wewe ukivuna mahindi yako maragwe mchele basi unapeleka inakaushwa to the right moisture levels so that mahindi isiweze kuharibika maragwe isiweze kuharibika kwa hivyo niko na furaha leo hapa na kuru kuanzisha ma ku fly off dryer zile ziko hapa kupeleka kwa different silos ili wakulima wetu waendelee kukausha mahindi na chakula yao isiweze kuharibika that is what government has also designed them to do when we give fertilizer you produce we must make sure that you do not suffer losses by making sure that whatever you are produce is drained to the right moisture level and finally Uja kausha yote inaweza kuwa kule kwa magala yenu ama kule nyumbani inaweza kuwa kutokea na mambo mengine alafu ile chakula pia iweze kuharibiwa tena so we are here again to tell you as the farmers of this country we have renovated our national cereals and produce stores all over the country and we have given instructions to and directives to the national cereals and produce board that the national cereals and produce board silos or stores hapo ni magala ya wakulima wa taifa la Kenya kama umelima mahindi yako hauna pali ya kuweka store ama nini tafadhali ukienda kukausha mahindi yako na umeleta kwa cereals usiweza kuenda nayo nyumbani wengine taende yaribiwe masto tuko nayo ya kutosha pimiwa mahindi yako andikishiwa mahindi yako pewa risiti yako ya kusema mkulima kitanui ama muiruri hapa nakuru nimeweka ngunia zangu 500 ama 200 na wewe wakati wote ukitaka unaweza kuja uchukue ukitaka kuuza utaweza kwenda utoe balance yako kwa ile unauza ingine ubaki so the national cereals and produce stores are available storage facilities for our farmers ili tuhakikishe no food is lost so mnaona kuna kutoka kwa kupanda mpaka mwisho kwa storage serikali imeingilia hapo kuhakikisha chakula kiharibike and that is why the direction of the president alisema hata hii pesa ya kukausha mahindi iko juu sana na sababu tulikuwa na tangi 150 tukasema hapana we are really to support our farmers na wakulima tukasema tutaondoa tutamalisi tutateremsha ukaushaji wa mahindi kutoka shilingi 150 mpaka shilingi 70 ikaenda chini and that is what has happened lakini nimesikia mkulima hapa anasema hata sabini nimekuwa nchini sana ndipo amesema mama mkusikia mama mimi nilisikia mbaya mlisema hiyo ni zabini sasa toje niwaambie eh unajua 
lazima tuangalie vile tutasaidiana watu unapigia unasikia wanapiga rais akisema huu gharama ya maisha hii kumekuwa namna gani lakini hawaangalii pia katika hii mambo tunaongea yanahitaji pesa sisi tuko tayari kuangalia nimesikia propose na nitaifikisha lakini ni waombe nyinyi wakulima pia wakati huu toka mtusaidie kupiga ndebe tarubeta ipigwe juu tuambie wa Kenya wanjipange tuendelee kulipa kondi ili tuweze kujitegemea kama wa Kenya sababu ile pesa imenunua hii mbraya ni yule mkulima ama mwanabiashara wa hapa amelipa kondi yake tukapata pesa ya kununua ndraya kuletea farm so hata wewe mkulima nitaitaramusha chini lakini mkubali Kenya ilikuwa na shida na rais amekuwa akingangana eh wale kwa mbrazi la mawaziri kuangi rais kuleta kustabilize uchumi na msikia akisema ndeni ilikuwa imepanda kuu kule kwa mlima na karibu tupigwe mdanda mkubaliane na sisi ya kwamba sasa sababu mambo inaendelekea ikiwa mzuri miezi ingine sita hivi tu nianze discussion ya kuteremusha very and dry kutoka kule sabini basi tufike kama hapa hamsini ama thati like, because i am committed we want to give the farmers our best so that is why to me teach how pesa kindogo hili pia tuweze kulipa stima na mnajua stima pia iko na gharama tulipe pia wale wafanyikazi wako hapa na kupata pesa ya kupeleka hinchi mbele tusi tunataka kutumia zile revenue ama zile pesa sisi tunaokota so my commitment na the commitment of the president is that we will apply your taxes in the best way possible for the people of Kenya to get the services they need because it is only the fair thing to do as a responsible government kwa hivyo mmesikia sisi pale hapo tumejipangia na nawataka kunuhakishia ya kwamba mwaka huu target yetu tunataka kutoka zile ngunia 61 million tuende tufike ngunia zingine milioni 80 because our target for, to, for supply of fertilizer this year is 12 million bags and there is a direct correlation between production and the amount of fertilizer that is applied on every single week our current average production ya mahindi kwa wakulima hapa kwa heka ni 20 25 kwa hivyo kama tumefika hapo wakati tulitumia ngunia 5.8 million tukipandisha ngunia 12 million i want you again to double the amount of fertilizer you are applying on every acre kama uliweka ngunia mbili last time weka sasa ine utapata tofauti and i'm telling you this out of experience it's a proven it is scientifically proven that the relationship between production and application of fertilizer is like the difference is like half na dunia kwa hivyo to increase on productivity na sababu fertilizer imetoka shilingi 1700 wakati rais aliingia tukakuja the 500 sasa tumefika 2500 sasa hata wewe na tumesave hiyo pesa yote panale uweke mfuko mmoja upate mazao nduni usifanye ndabu na ukifanya ndabu utapatalisha chakula ndabu i am telling you anyone that wants to test this i have a, i have an gentleman called uh, Ruto from Wasinigishu kipali naitwa Kiplombe that young man produced i went with farm na ungeona alifuata maagizo yale tunasema na akazalisha ngunia 40 na tano kwa ekari moja now you can imagine na mimi nilisimama kwa jambo yake ukiangalia hapa kando na huyo mwingine ile kufuata maagizo unatindwa hii ni dunia tofauti so please our good farmers listen for our advisory and we have just passed the national Uh, agricultural extension policy in the cabinet 
sababu tunataka kuwafikishia ujumbe kwa vile tunataka tuendeleze kilimo chetu kutumia mitandao na njia zingine na sababu sababu hiyo imepita tunakuja ili tukwapea kuweza kuwafikishia ujumbe because we believe agricultural extension is critical it is important kwa hivyo mambo yetu yale nilikuwa nayo ni hayo matatu ameyasikia mambo ya fertilizer mambo ya dryer mambo ya storage na umesikia ndio inchi we are trying to leverage on technology and science na umesikia vile machifu wetu ma ICC na wote walitusaidia lakini unajua pia wako na kazi yao ile wanafanya na tutakuwa tunaendelea kila wakati kuwalilia saindia saindia sababu mambo ya usalama pia anaangalia sasa mimi nataka wa concentrate saindi na mambo ya usalama kusaindiana na sisi kufanya hawa wakora wanaweza kuwa wanauza fertilizer hawa wakora wanauza mbegu guchi ili tusanye wote tuweke njela pale wanapaswa kuwa ili wasiendelee kutapile kutapeni kwa kulima na sababu tumesikia wale kuna wakulima ambao hawakusanjiliwa nataka kuambia sasa wizara tumejipanga na sababu tunataka kutumia kisayansi yule ako na kalamu aweze kuchukua <coughs> wewe kama unjasajiliwa kama mkulima ama unajua mtu ambaye hajasajiliwa kama mkulima tafadhali muimbie achukue simu aweze kuweka star 616 star 3 hash hapo utakuwa umepatana na litori kwa mtandao na nambari utapata ya kuanishajiliwa kama mkulima wa Kenya na nimalizie nikisema sasa unajua pia niko na kazi ya mambo ya mifuko katika taifa hili tunataka kuongezea masao ya maziwa na ndiri value chain na mambo ya leather ni mengine tunaangalia katika wizara yetu nataka kuambia kwa wakulima mwezi ujao mwezi huu mwisho wa mwezi huu tutaanza sasa na wakulima mstapeliwe tena kupeana mbegu za kuchange mburindi zetu because we want to improve our milk production from the 5.2 million liters to around 12 million liters in the next two years and the only way to do it number one, is to improve the breeds of our animals and that's why by end of this february we are going to roll out the sex semen program ambaye mnanunua 6500 to 8000 na pesa iende chini ya 1000 ili mkulima ukiwekewa ngombe mbegu yako unajua itatoa kike na uko na washikika ni mbrind type gani. Na pili tunataka kuambia ya kwamba wakulima tunataka kuwafunza na muelewe chakula gani the right nutrition ya kupea ngombe ni maji ni chakula iko na high protein content kuna mbegu sijui eh, eh, Uh, kuna chakula nepian grass inaitwa pakchong brokeria lusan tuko hiyo program pia pale ile ili watu wetu wajue ili wale, walize walishe ngombe tuweze kushalisha maziwa na unajua rais ameweka pesa kwa KCC to rush to prepare to produce enough milk to turn it into pound so that we do not continually uh, get wakati maziwa ni mingi na mjue ya kwamba amwape and I'm told right now wale walikuwa na mahindi mingi wa kukileta hapa tulisema tutanunua mahindi na shilingi elfu nne watu kasema pesa ni kidogo kwambia ndio pesa ni kidogo lakini sisi tumefanya mahesabu lakini sio lazima utuuzie mahindi sababu tumeweka sisi minimum garanti ya mahindi lakini huku ile nje kuna watu watanunua na pesa mingi zaidi and i'm happy to report that the millers now wale wananunua mahindi nimetembelea wengine tatu wameniambia wanapata mahindi sasa na 4500 meaning wakulima wanapata 500 zaidi 
hile tulikuwa tumeahindi because the market forces now at play and secondly wakati mkulima anapata mzuri pia bei ya unga inaenda ikienda chini kwa hivyo mnaona rais ameweka mikakati mizuri kuhakikisha Kenya inasonga vyema and I'm happy right now sijasikia watu wale mnajua watu wale wa fitina eh wa ile kelele mingi sijasikia mtu sasa akisema tuongee mambo ya chakula ama sufuria tuweke kichu tukaende kwa maandamano sababu wakulima na ndio sababu tunawashukuru wakati mambo ilikuwa kule juu tuwaambia na natokea nilikuwa hapa na kingine paka kule kiricho paka kule wafinigishu kitale nitaambia wakati huo nikawaambia sasa wacheni au maneno tuandamane sote shambani na panga na njembe na fertilizer wale walisikia sasa nao wanaona raha ya kufanya maandamano kwa mashamba wale wengine kwa huko tu lakini we are happy that the farmers of this country have supported us have assisted us now and that story of food is not lo- is no longer an agenda or in any family and discussion sababu chakula at least kimepatikana